Descending below the earth, then flying on an underground track at speeds well over 100 miles an hour. It's not part of a distant future. It is not. In fact, construction could start in as little as three months on an express ride from downtown to O'Hare that takes minutes. Elon Musk says he's going to build it. So who's paying for it? Charlie DeMar is here to tell us about this plan, Charlie. Well, Rob and Erica, taxpayers are supposedly off the hook. That's the plan right now, and that's what Mayor Rahm Emanuel and Elon Musk are saying. The $1 billion project will be paid in full by Musk, even if it goes over budget. So what if it does fail? Musk says then he'll just be out a whole lot of money. From the Loop Joe hair in just 12 minutes, that's Elon Musk's vision, the creator of the electric car company Tesla and founder of SpaceX. It seems like we've been stuck in traffic for decades. 60 feet below ground, 12 person capsules shooting passengers at speeds of 150 miles per hour. But the best promise of them all. He's making the financial investment. And I think we get the upside of what it brings if it, uh, and I believe it will be successful. But lofty goals of high speed transit to O'Hare have come to a stop before. Musk and Mayor Rahm Emanuel toured the vacant Block 37 terminal that was supposed to be the site of Mayor Richard Daly's O'Hare Express service. There will be doubters, but that shouldn't be a checkmate on uh, creating a future and building a future. Well, we'll have to see how that develops. So I came back from O'Hare last night in a lift, and it took me about over an hour to get back into the city, so I'd be happy to be able to get there faster. The proposed route would go west under Randolph, northwest under the Kennedy, Milwaukee and Elston, with a leg under the Kennedy, and then west to O'Hare. I think this is something that's new and exciting. It's not just the same old thing. I think it's the right approach uh, to solving congestion. So when will this all happen? Musk says he is waiting on environmental approval, but hopes to be digging the tunnels in the next three to four months using advanced machines to dig, developed by his engineers, of course, which are expected to be cheaper and faster than traditional excavating. Rob and Erica, if this does happen, pretty ambitious, but it would be pretty yes. incredible for the city. And his goal, too, is ambitious of when it will be completed. When is that? About three years. About three years he hopes to have this uh, up and running to the loop to O'Hare in 12 minutes, so we'll see. The boring company, definitely not boring. <laughs> not at all. Very and, exciting And much times. quicker than the blue line. Yes, much quicker. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Thank you, Charlie.